Saturday night was a rough one for the Brooklyn Nets as they fell at home to the Boston Celtics at the Barclays Center. The Celtics now lead the first round series between the two teams three games to none. Here with me to talk some Brooklyn hoops is New York Post Nets beat writer Brian Lewis. Brian, the Nets stars, they have not been good in this series at all, particularly Kevin Durant. Is it fatigue? Is it the Boston defense? What has happened to Brooklyn's dynamic duo? Well, I think it's both. I mean, clearly Kevin Durant has been playing massive minutes and carrying a massive load when he's been on court for the last month, month and a half. He has to be tired. Uh, when you're talking about playing 40 plus minutes every game, expected to bring the ball up, be the leading scorer. But I don't want to take anything away from what Boston's done, both the players on the floor and the game plan. So it's not just fatigue. Boston's actually just smothering him and outplaying Brooklyn. They have definitely done that in this contest, smothering, outplaying him there. Now, some Nets fans have been very critical, Brian, of Steve Nash's coaching in this series. Has he been outcoached here by Emi Odoka, and is he on the hot seat right now? I would say definitely first. I would say definitely yes to the first. Uh, I'm not sure about the second. I think that's probably a Kevin Durant decision. Uh, he has been outcoached by Ime. Ime, first off, Ime was deserving of a head coaching job before he got this Boston gig. And he learned a lot of things, A, about how to guard Kevin Durant just watching him all of last year. He took the best parts of what Milwaukee did in the playoffs and has applied that to the Celtic defense, which is long-armed and aggressive. Um but as far as whether Steve's on the hot seat, let's be fair. Steve is here largely because Kevin Durant wanted him here. When Kevin Durant has decided uh, that we need to make a change, that's probably when a change is going to be made. That is probably what we will see there. Last thing for you, Brian, you pick the Nets to win in seven. Do the Nets win four straight here? Let me know. I think that probably strains credulity. So I always say I'm the first to admit when I'm wrong about something, I was wrong about something. There you go. I had a Nets fan text me today saying Nets in seven. You got to keep hope alive. That is Brian Lewis, New York Post Nets beat writer. Brian, good to see you. Thanks for joining me as always. Oh, thanks for having me. Anytime.